Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarika. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video, leave a comment, share with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. So today I am actually doing a requested video. So I've done several skincare routines on my channel before, but I haven't done like a daytime morning skincare routine. So one of my friends actually requested a morning skincare routine. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So I actually have some new products that I have added to my skincare routine since the last videos I have made about how I take care of my skin. If you have been watching me since the very beginning, first of all, thank you. Um, but you know that skincare is a major goal of mine. I was really, really disciplined with my skincare in 2022 and then 2023 I'm gonna be honest with you I was focused on other things so my skincare suffered but 2024 I have been so good with keeping up my skin keeping up with my skincare and I wanted to share some tips and tricks with y'all show you what I do every morning um, I want to be really honest with you I am really quick with my skincare routine so there are a lot of products here and it seems really overwhelming but I move really fast. So I'm excited to kind of talk to you about some of the products that I use um, and talk about some of my skincare concerns. So the main concern that I have with my skin is, so I'm gonna just zoom in so I can you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The main concerns I have with my skin would be like dark spots. So I'm just gonna move closer to the camera You can see that I have a lot of texture and also a lot of dark spots um, so that those are my main concerns I also kind of am concerned about my under eye bags because they have become more evident over time so those are my main concerns texture discoloration and uneven skin tone and dark spots I, I kind of clump those all together uh, and then under eyes so those are my main concerns that being said from afar, like my skin is pretty great, pretty healthy, pretty moisturized. I've done a lot of work this year to try and get my skin to a really good place. Um, but I am excited to just jump into my skincare routine with y'all and share some of the, the reasons why I chose these. So if you have watched my skincare routines before, you always know that I'm going to start with my Tatcha Rice Wash Skincare Face Wash. So I'm always gonna wash my face that is the first step. I do not use my cellar water. I don't double cleanse in the mornings just because I would have done my night skincare routine the night before. So when I wake up, I just cleanse in the morning. As I said, I am a very easygoing gal, very lazy almost. So I'm not trying to do too much in the mornings. I wake up usually around seven o'clock. Um, no, 6.30, between 6.30 and seven. So I don't have that much time to really be doing too, too much. So I'm gonna wash my face and then I will be back. All right, y'all, so I am back. I just finished washing my face. My skin is really, really sensitive. Um, ever since I was a little kid, like even when I was a teenager, my, my dad would always buy me like baby products, um, like body wash, face wash, just cause my skin is really sensitive. Um, you can see like it's already gotten a little red from washing my face. However, my face wash is very gentle, very like, it's good for sensitive skin, but it's because my skin is so sensitive that it even still looks red. I always have my water bottle with me when I am doing my morning skincare routine. I always am hydrating. I am definitely not one of those people who say just drink water and you'll be fine, but you have to understand the importance of hydrating in terms of how your skin looks and feels. So I always am drinking water when I do my skincare routine. I'm also just very thirsty in the morning because I don't know why I just be like thirsty. I don't know. So I'm going to just put my hair my little so i'm just gonna put my hair put my little thing to protect my hairline honestly i got this from shein it was like a supposed to be like a headband with a bow and then i just like made another use out of it so i'm protecting my edges with this little contraption um and the next product i'm going with going in with is my toner it's my fenty skin like fat water hydrating milk milky toner essence y'all 
y'all can see I use this product. I don't put too much. I just put like about that much on my hands. Then I rub together and I just press in through my skin. I like to put my toner even on my neck as I said in all of my videos. Please take care of your neck, people. As you get older, you will also see similar effects of aging on your neck and of sun damage on your neck. So you also wanna really take care of your neck. Always do your face routine on your neck as well. So that's my next step. Super fast, super quick. I really like this toner. Again, it is very gentle, but it's super moisturizing. Like it makes my face glow. Um, yeah, and it really is a great essence to use at the beginning of your skincare routine. So one of the new products that I added to my skincare routine is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So I go in, going after my toner, again, I just do like that much, not too much. Ah. And then I rub together and I just press it in. So the two of those products together, make a really good base. Um, in terms of using the Paula's Choice, I had to work up to using it twice a day. Um, just because it can be harsh on your skin, so your skin needs to be, get used to using this product before you use it twice a day. I use this morning and night just because it's a really good exfoliant for my skin. Um, and I feel like it's done a really good job in terms of shrinking my pores. So that's kind of what it's used for. Uh, so that is always going to be combined with my fat water milky toner as my base. Cool. So the next new product that I've added to my skincare routine is the Dr. Dennis Gross On The Spot Eliminator Gel. So before I was using the Fenty Spot Treatment and I replaced it with the Dr. Dennis Gross Spot Treatment, I'm a Fenty girl through and through. If you've watched my channel, you know I love Miss Rihanna down, but that spot treatment was not helping me at all. Like it was not doing anything for my skin and I had to be honest with myself. So I actually did research. I went on TikTok, I read Google reviews, articles. Um, I went on Sephora reviews and looked up the best like spot treatment because as I said before, I really, really struggle with dark spots and discoloration. So that is definitely a goal of mine this year is to really work on those issues. And the Dr. Dennis Gross came out as one of the top recommended products. It has really amazing reviews on Sephora. Um, I would definitely implore you to go and read. But for me personally, amazing. I have over the past month for some reason dealt with a lot of pimples in this area. I don't know if you can kind of see the scarring from it. Yeah, you can see some scarring. I also had like pimples on my chin, my cheek, and child, this pimple is how it looks after like two days. Two days ago it was gross. Um, so I do struggle with pimples sometimes, which is unfortunate in my adult life. So what I do is I just literally put it on the spot. Bang. So any areas where I have pimples, I put it there. And let me tell you this, so it was actually the cluster of pimples that were right here that inspired me to actually change my spot treatment just because Miss Rihanna was not doing anything for those spots. The pimples were getting worse and worse and literally this has changed my face. I am not exaggerating. But as always, do your own research because you have to make sure the product works for you. Just because it works for me doesn't mean that it will work for everyone. Yep, that is my spot treatment. And this is how she looks. Moving on, so the next thing that I use is my Murad Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. Okay, so this one, so the doc, you might be like, why use these two products back to back if they're kind of doing the same thing? So here's my justification and don't come for me in the comments, please. So the Dr. Dennis Gross is for spots and specific pimples on my skin. This is to essentially correct the whole face, which kind of has issues of dark spots and discoloration all, all over. But those dark spots aren't pimples that are growing out of my skin currently. These are just f the result of pimples that have kind of popped, gone away, are scarring. So I use this to essentially correct that. 
I only use one pump. Just a heads up, it smells really bad. So I am diligent with doing that. And then I go in with one more pump for my neck, because as I said, I wanna ensure that my neck is taken care of. So I let the Dr. Dennis Grow spot treatment kind of dry down. And that's another thing I love about that one. It dries pretty fast. Then I go in with the Murad. I would say that this is like on TikTok. I read, I watched so many TikToks of people talking about this. Again, this one came up as one of the most popular correcting serums for your face in terms of dark spots and discoloration. It's definitely for me more slow acting than fast. It's been about two months and I have seen improvement, but it's not like my face is completely free of dark spots as you can see. So that's what I do next. Now I go in with my like vitamin C serums. So the first one that I use, she is an oldie but a goodie. She's in all of my skincare videos. Is the CE is the Sunday Riley 15% vitamin C brightening serum. So this is to brighten my face and to make it glow. Okay. Um, I only do one pump. It's kind of a big pump. So that's how much I do. She's pricey, so. I try not to overdo it. And I did my neck. Again, as I said, you trying to get all over your face and your neck. Brighten, make me glow, baby, okay? Um, and then the next serum that I use is my, okay, and this one, y'all can see she is almost done, okay? When I say I do my skincare routine every morning, I am not playing with y'all, okay? I do this every single morning and it has really worked for me this year, so I'm really happy to share it with you guys. So this one is my second like, kind of like vitamin serum-y type thing. This is the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum, and it has lipids, vitamins, and phytotechnologies for epidermal repair. Okay, so yeah, I use this one in the morning, and I use a different serum in the night. So I go on the forehead, on the cheeks, yeah. And then I just rub that one in to my face. Ooh. So this is why I wear the like edge protection thing, just because these things will make your wigs lift, y'all. So that's my ordinary little serum. So see, I'm doing like a whole lot, but also it's going fast. So the next product is my Eminence Wild Plum Eye Cream. Also an oldie but a goodie. I've been using her since I really started focusing on my skincare routine. I literally just put that much under my eye. Do it under both eyes. And then I blot. Yeah, I gotta use my side camera. So I'm gonna just zoom in so you can really see me get in under my eyes. And as I said, like I'm trying to work on my under eyes. So did that. It's glazed. She's even glazed, like, are you kidding me? Love. Okay, so that's my under eye cream. Use under eye cream. People like, I used to use caffeine drops, I use under eye cream, I do like do the topicals like eye masks. I've done like Sephora eye masks. I don't play about my under eyes because I feel like I'm already prone to getting bags under my eyes. So to try and ensure that my dark spots don't get too out of control, I really work hard to keep my under eyes looking okay. because. I, as much as I love to dress up in glam, I really also don't like to wear makeup. So I love to just wear my natural face out. But if my under eyes are looking really dark, it kind of makes it harder for me to do that. So I really do focus a lot on my under eyes. So focus on your under eyes, give them some love, okay? All right, so the next thing that I do, literally wrapping up now, is my moisturizing. So I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. She will always be in my skincare routine like I will tell you my favorite products right after so I you can see I'm almost done with her too like I don't be playing 
I just use the back of my nail because I have nails and that usually whew, usually does covers my entire face. You want to get that moisturized, ready to go. And then probably the most important, especially right now, is your sunscreen, especially with some of the products that I am using on my face. For example, my Paula's Choice Exfoliate. I have to wear sunscreen, right? So some of you might be using actives and you have to have sunscreen on to, or retinol to ensure that you literally don't destroy your skin. So um, I am gonna do the little, just cause I'm not going anywhere right now. I'm just gonna do, the one finger. You're supposed to do two, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just staying in the house. And why do I put on sunscreen even if I'm just staying in the house? I do go out for like 30 to 45 minutes um, a day to walk my dog, play with him. So I have to make sure I have sunscreen on. I put it on my neck, as I said before. So that's kind of like my face routine. Before I go to the last two steps, I'm going to tell you what my favorite products are. So Tatcha, for sure, I love her, love her, love her down. I use her twice a day, yes. She's just amazing and as an adult, it has been awesome to find a like face wash that works for my sensitive skin and feels really great. My next favorite product is definitely my vitamin C serum from Sunday Riley. Very pricey, but very worth it. Um, actually, it was recommended to me by a friend and has not left my skincare routine since. And then for sure, she has become a fave, the Dr. Dennis Gross spot treatment, just because, as I said, I really struggle with the dark spots and have been struggling with that Fenty spot treatment. This has really changed my experience with my dark spots and I am so, so thankful. So I would say those are like my three favorite skincare products. Um, and then uh, I could not forget my lotion, my face lotion. I love her. She is thick. She moisturizes for a long time. So as I said, like when I go to bed, I use my Kiehl's, I wake up, I feel moisturized. In the morning, I use my Kiehl's, I go to work, I do things, or I go out with friends, or I do whatever, I live my life. Feels moisturized when I come home, so love her down. So I'm gonna go to the last two steps. Um, so y'all need to moisturize your lips, okay? Um, because especially in the winter, uh, you know, it's not winter right now, but especially in those seasons where your lips be drying out, you need to moisturize your lips. So I do that every day. Um, it became a habit after I moved to Canada and I became uh, winterized, you could say. Um, I just moisturize my lips every morning and every night before bed. So what I use is the Fenty Skin Plush Puddin'. She came out with this like melon flavor and I love it more than the regular flavor. And I just literally do one and a half swipes, top and bottom, and my makeup artist, my friend, taught me that. Instead of rubbing together, she said, so do that. So now that I'm done my skincare routine, my face is looking glazed, but not too glazed. See? And then after I have so much product in my hands, so I'm gonna wash my hands and then tell you my very last step. I have washed the products off my hands and I don't know about you, but sometimes my hands get kind of ashy after you constantly wash your hands. Um, but at least in the morning, I definitely have to moisturize my hands. And I have this hand cream, the Moroccan oil hand cream, and that's what I use. You can see that she also almost done. Listen, I, ugh, yeah. At least you know I'm not lying to you because I really be using these products. So I don't put too much, like literally it's so thick that will be fine for both your hands. And I rub them together and I get in between the fingers, especially right here. Cause I don't know about you, but that's where I get ashy sometimes. Um, so I like how it smells and it leaves my hands feeling moisturized. And I feel like 
You gotta moisturize your lips and your hands before you leave the house. That's just a rule of thumb, okay? So that is my morning skincare routine. It is what works for me, okay? Um, I am not a dermatologist. I am not a medical professional. These are just products that I've done research on for myself and have been using for almost half a year and have worked. Um, the thing to remember about skincare is it is your own journey. Sometimes I'd be frustrated, like why isn't my skin flawless and perfect if I've been working at it for so long, but it is something that I have to continually kind of work on and continue to do over time. Adding facials and getting that done too is very helpful for your face. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and please let me know if you wanna see anything else and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.